the whole concept behind this guitar started out with the Sur standard body shape. I always like the kind of more squared off edges and it's slightly smaller, it's just got kind of a sleek streamlined kind of thing to it and I always dug that. And then from an aesthetic perspective, I was kind of trying to marry the classic 25 and a half double cutaway bolt-on neck American guitars with the 24 and 3 quarter scale uh, single cut American style guitar. Somehow m marry and combine those two things aesthetically uh, into something that looked really familiar and yet was unique and new. So let's talk about the neck profile for a second. Um, I chose the Even C Slim for this guitar. and It was actually really a suggestion of John Sirs. Um, he said, you know, maybe you should check out this neck profile. You might really like it. And the, initially the slim designation scared me a little bit because I don't like necks that are too skinny. It's just a really, really comfortable uh, sort of C shape. And it just fit my hand really nicely. I don't have huge hands and I like my action kind of low and um, I don't like to fight the guitar too much. So the finish on the neck is acrylic urethane, kind of a satin finish and it feels relatively close to kind of a nice sort of oiled raw wood feel really and it doesn't get gummy or sticky. And the radius is the uh, the 10 to 14 compound when I have it on most of my Sur guitars. It's a nice recording down low and then flattens up as you get further up the neck and you can get the action nice and low. You know, the frets are stainless steel and uh, kind of a medium jumbo size and uh, the neck is made out of mahogany with a rosewood fingerboard which lends a lot of warmth and uh, yeah, you know, clarity to the tone. It just works really well for my style, I find. I just really like things that are classy and kind of understated and yet super rock and roll looking. So like when I think about maybe you might see like a black Ferrari or something, but it's got a red leather interior. <laughs> That's kind of the, the approach as far as the, uh, the certainly with the, with the black guitar, with the red back, and then uh, this gold finish, we spent a lot of time getting the color just right. The headstock on the guitar, we chose to go with sort of the black front on the, on the gold finish, and that's really a reflection of that classic kind of gold top single cut design. I just wanted to stick with those cosmetics, but in this style of guitar as much as possible. So the pickups, of course, are the Thornbucker humbucking pickups, which have been out for a couple of years now. Um, we've got the Thornbucker neck and the Thornbucker Plus, which is relatively new in the bridge position. And um, I've done something slightly unique on the switch. So all the way up here in position one is the tapped neck humbucker. So you're getting a single coil neck tone in that position one. Position two is the neck in full humbucking. Position three is gonna be both pickups in humbucking. Position four is going to be the inside two coils of the humbucking pickups, single coil mode with the inside two coils. And then position five is full bridge humbucking mode. There's also a push-pull switch here in the tone knob, and that is to switch the bridge pickup into parallel, which is really, really terrific for being able to get some sort of quasi-cleaner single coil type sounds, but yet in still a full hum-canceling pickup. The Godo 510 bridge, I've actually used this particular bridge on a number of my Sur guitars now for a number of years and it's always got a really solid tone uh, and it feels really good, it's got a nice smooth kind of action to it and it's just kind of a no-brainer, it works great. I really wanted to come up with an instrument that I felt like I could play on stage all night without having to switch to another guitar. I'd be able to get all the tones that I needed and all the you know variety that that I could possibly want out of one instrument. And now to have my own signature model, you know, from from Sir guitars from John Sir, what an honor.